What's up everyone? If you are looking for a way to add the ability to zoom on an image, basically exactly like this, then stay tuned in this video. You're going to learn how to do that and get a special bonus. Let's take a look at what we'll review in this video. First, we'll look at some options available on plugins. Next, we'll look at the specific implementation showed in the intro. And then finally, we'll do a bonus and show you how if there's something that you're specifically looking to get, uh, you can do that as well with this extra um, method for using a little code. Okay, so out there, I don't know if anyone else has navigated the uh, plugin store to find something that would be uh, what they kind of imagine in their head and even you know paid plugins uh, that are doing only simple things like this or something like this. Um, really, there was just not um, what I was seeing there, how I was imagining my uh, Zoom thing to work. This one was the closest, but I actually am not a fan. I know it's technically correct to have this plus, the mouse cursor turn into this plus uh, icon and minus there. Uh, technically it is, but I'm just more a fan of the um, the kind of grab mouse cursor where it's just indicating there's some you know interaction that would occur if you were to do this or not. And then uh, also I'll show how to do it on just a hover without a click. So that's kind of what's out there as options for plugins. Um, I wasn't satisfied. And what I did is I'll show you the setup here now over in Bubble for creating something like this. So whether you have a repeating group or a single handful of images, uh, basically the setup is really going to be the same for all of them. The, the main key is that you want to give your images. In this case, I have a simple repeating group. Let's look at the data source. It's this multi-files uploader's value, which is you know a file uploader with a couple of images. And it's an image type. And then this is an image inside of it, and it's using the regular image. So with seeing that set up here, uh, you'll want to select or set your ID attribute to something that is whether it's dynamic like this, where it's looking at the specific cell uh, number or cell index number count, <laughs> um, or it's something that you manually set and then you tell the AI what to do, um, that you'll wanna get that set up straight. Okay, next, what else is happening here? Well, the magic of all this is happening when the page is loading, um, just to make sure extra that it's loaded, added this um, pause length, and then here, Working with an AI tool like Claude, it's possible to tell it roughly the behavior that you want. And the key thing here is that you have to tie it back to this uh, ID attribute. And whether, so this completely depends on your setup and how you're doing this in your world. So whether you're doing some single images, whether you're doing a repeating group like mine here, where each of these images is going to have, this will be image one, image two, image three, then you tell it to um, program it how you exactly want it. So I even told it about the rounded edges. I told it about the background and the transparency level. I told it about the sizing, the width and height um, of that. And then I told it I wanted to have this uh, mouse effect on it. So now um, I'm going to show the setup where that that. That concludes this setup here with this repeating group ID attributes and the toolbox plugin. Oh yeah, in case for anyone who is, yeah, super green out there in the world of bubble and you're like, what, what are you doing, bro? Um, how do you do this JavaScript stuff? And why are we coding in a no-code world? Well, we can extend things using JavaScript and why not take advantage of it, especially now with tools that um, can, you know, give us exactly what we're looking for in specific scenarios where it was much harder to get there before. So install this toolbox plugin. What you do on your workflows is you do you look you look for this uh, new workflow that you'll have after installing it called Run JavaScript, and then the JavaScript this will run on the page, and all the commands um, will we won't get into data or anything else, but all of the commands will uh, be available for which is basically saying hey this is image ID one it's being clicked and it's also being hovered, so change the mouse. And all that instruction is coming from here. Mm -hmm. 
So let's go ahead, let's change this now. So let's take a look at this prompt, let's kind of dissect it. Basically, it's just telling the AI what it is that I want in this one. So instead of needing to click the image and having this mouse change, let's auto show it on zoom, on, a, on hover of the image, uh, and then hide it when the, and this is important, the zoomed image is no longer hovered. So let's go ahead and get that. Okay, so we've got it printed out here, and we'll just go ahead and copy that in. So obviously this is uh, something that I've been working with uh, in specifically related to this task, and uh, the tool of Claude does need a little bit of time to get used to the development environment of Bubble because there's a few things that you know are available in most places that are not available in the world of uh, a bubble just in terms of small things that that I can't tell you as someone that doesn't code but I can tell you you can get there just simply by saying here's what happened uh, this part didn't work but the other part did and then iteratively you can get there so boom we see that that we have this nice effect where it just shows immediately and so if you're looking for either of those I'll include those uh, I can't include them in the descriptions because the uh, coding bait breaks it, but just head to the link and you'll be able to get access to these uh, pieces of code if you would like to use them even as a place to start with the tool and tell them, um, now that you've seen this implementation, tell them, tell the AI, uh, this is what you like to do starting from this code and, you know, customize it to your particular implementation. And if you found that helpful, then please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and thanks so much for watching.